Yeah. Yeah. Screw it. A hundred, a hundred videos in a hundred days, and I just gotta pick like a random thing to make a fucking video about. Maybe it's like the tweet that I dislike the most, which is what we are doing today. Or maybe it'll be like something stupid on Reddit. Or maybe it'll be uh, me behind a sheet so you can't see anything but shadowing while I do the helicopter with my dicky dang. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But this tweet, this tweet is stupid as fuck. First of all, Paul Joseph Watson is already a goddamn moron. I cannot stand this motherfucker. Depression isn't real. It's just dissatisfaction with your life. Fuck you. It's not like, oh, biochemical imbalances in the brain aren't obviously already known and we've been studying them for fucking ever. No, of course not. Instead, it's just because it's a more convenient answer for you and you can give some bullshit wannabe self-help guru kind of shit. Yeah, that's what kids of today need. They need some fucking basement dulling, fucking mouth breathing piece of shit like you with your poofy ass fucking hair and your weird red baboon ass lips to try and tell them how to fucking live. Oh, well, maybe I'll you know, just stay in your room and make a bunch of obnoxious YouTube videos and never try and find true satisfaction in life. Yeah, that'll keep them from being depressed, you fucking moron. Anyway, today, Paul had to say, uh, 20 emojis of people with two genders in five different skin colors riding two different types of wheelchairs, mechanical and automatic. Have we reached peak identity politics? How in the fuck is that political? What is political about people in wheelchairs? I don't understand. Like, I honestly legitimately do not understand how you- Thank you very much for the biddies. They're unfollowed and refollowed. Also, my first real tweet was my jelly juice pick. Also, remember when you see it feel the false, taste the false. I guess you're going in a video now, Yami. Uh, thanks for breaking my total train of rent. But how exactly is this identity politics? I don't understand. How in the world is being in a wheelchair part of people's identity? Yeah, some people say like this this makes up who I am because I am disabled, but that's not something they can fucking change. That's not something that they can change. Them being in a wheelchair is representative of a situation, a condition that they are in themselves. I mean, I suppose, yeah, I guess that's the definition of identity is immutable characteristics. And if you are crippled uh, in such a way, uh, forgive the, the very frankness of my language, but if you're disabled in some way, uh, then yeah, I guess that's an immutable characteristic. Sure. But what, are you going to get mad at the people who, who, who are crippled because they want, or who are disabled? Jeez, I got to stop saying that. I keep saying that. I'm not going to be able to upload this video. But are you gonna continue to 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 get mad because these people are getting emojis that look like them? Why? Why do you care? It's emojis. Why am I even talking about this? Why are you talking about? It? Why does anybody care? What is happening? How does this like? How does your, how does how do people who do videos every day like this? How do they not like totally break their brains? I don't get that. Like, there's people out there who do like three or four videos a day, and they just sit down and they're like. I'm just going to very slowly read this article about Captain Marvel and then tell you something that neckbeards are gonna agree with. Donate to my Patreon. How does anybody watch that? And how does somebody record it without wanting to kill themselves? I don't know. <laughs> Oh well, one video down, fuck it. 